Hi guys, that trail guy here again with another review for you today. Today we're going to be reviewing the Shimano XT M8000 disc brakes. Now, I'm sure you'll agree with me that straight away these brakes just look great on the bike. Nice subtle black which fits in nicely with any colour scheme that you might have. Not only that, but these brakes look sleek as well. The fin pads and the contoured caliper help to make it fit in well on the bike. Fin pads aren't just there for show though guys. Those fin pads help to let out a lot more excess heat from the pads whilst you're braking. That means your brakes don't overheat and you get more power while going downhill for a long period of time. It does come at a cost of course, these fin pads are more than your standard ones, though you can get them where you just get the fins and you can replace the intersection once they've been used up. From my experience, and I've had these brakes for a couple of months now, the fins do really work. I mean, they take a lot of the heat away from the pads and I haven't noticed any drop in performance when doing long descents on the bike so I guess you could say they're a success. I've decided to run the Ice Tech rotors with these disc brakes. The reason for that is because these are the jested discs for these calipers by Shimano. And what that means is they run perfectly together with no problems at all. Now you can of course use whatever disc you want, given that it's the right size. In this case, these calipers will take a 180mm disc at the moment. In my experience, these Icetec rotors have been great like, paired with these Dior XT M8000 calipers. I can tell you that they break amazingly in whatever conditions you're riding in. Wet, snow, muddy, whatever, these brakes will stop you going down a hill. So, moving on to the levers. In my opinion, these levers are really nice. They look sleek and the nice Dior XT logo on it stands out well and makes the levers look great. A nice feature of these levers is they've got a reach adjuster built in. Now that means you can have the lever as far away or as close to the bars as you like. That's really good for me because I like to have my levers quite far away due to having big hands. For someone with small hands, they'll want them closer. These levers do have an IS type bar mount but they will fit on normal bars just fine and very easily too. It's a simple bolt on, bolt off job. Installation of these brakes was easy enough, as long as you've got the correct tools. For me, I chose to shorten the brake hoses, as they were a bit long for my bike when I bought them. The brakes do come shipped with the hoses attached and the brakes ready to use, so it's your choice whether or not you cut down the hoses to fit your bike right. By all means, you could take them straight out of the box and start riding. The levers themselves on these brakes are nice. They have the nice indented grooves on them to keep your fingers from slipping off the edge, and they have a nice feel of solid aluminium rather than that cheap plasticky feel that you get from some levers. Although this brake set might seem quite pricey at the current price of $69.99 on Chain Reaction Cycles, I can assure you that it's definitely worth the upgrade. Now, I used to run Avid Elixir 3s on this bike when it was from stock, but these brakes have made a world of difference and I can't tell you how much it is worth buying something like this to upgrade your bike. It's one of the first major upgrades you should make, and these are a great example. Not only that, but these brakes are much easier to maintain than a brand such as Hope, which require constant maintenance. Whereas these, you bleed them once, and you can leave them for a couple of months before you ever need to touch them again. One thing I would say about these brakes is that they don't come with the correct mounting bolts. The problem with this is that it's quite tricky if you don't know what you're looking for to buy the correct ones. So I'll list the ones that I've used in the description so that you can find them easily enough. All in all, for the past 5 months I've been using these brakes, they've been absolutely amazing and I would recommend them to anyone thinking of upgrading their brake set on their mountain bike. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, please leave a like and comment, and subscribe, see you in the next one.